Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be basically going over how to make a good application center um, for free. And I'm going to show you what a few of the application centers I'm talking about actually look like. So here we're at the re-admin application na center. Now this is re-admin application center. I say. This oh uh, yeah, there, this is re-admin application center. Do full screen. So this is what it looks like. Um, pretty simple. It's pretty cool. There's apply button. You go through the questions. It sends it to the HQ. Everything like that. But there's another one called My Center that also does the same kind of thing, but it goes down a lot. So yeah, I'll real quickly show everyone what this one looks like as well. So yeah, um, it looks like this. Now you can have music in there and everything. So yeah, it 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 looks pretty cool. So yeah, and here let me go through one of the applications. Looks like it does this. And then you can do the you can do the question. Click next. This next. Who's the lead? Yeah, next. Report them. And then you could do that, and it says you successfully you grade one hundred percent. So yeah, and then it takes you to another game. I want to get out here. Hey, can you? Thank you. Anyway, so yeah, I'll basically be showing everyone how to make a game, how to do something like that. So first, let's do um my center. So I'm gonna real quickly get out of here. Go to here, and here, and here. So now my center looks like this. So basically, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to basically. Uh oh. Well, yeah, you're gonna basically want to um like make an account. So once you make an account, you can go to here, and basically it'll say application centers, and then you're just gonna click this plush hit plus you're gonna go through all of this and everything like that once once you have your my center application done you can click this and basically create a new application once you do that then there will all be all these different applications then let's say you want to go to staff you can do that you can do this you can do all this so this is basically where you can change the application center and everything and stuff like that you can change the ID it this and everything like that all this stuff so yeah but one uh, but what you want to do is once you have your application ready once you make an application here create an application everything like that you should do that you're gonna click manage and then you can do that and then here you're gonna have the responses the questions settings and automation now questions is basically you can make a question you can make the questions just create a question do all the questions you want settings you basically do the different settings and everything minimum made well blah, 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 all the stuff and yeah automation you need a roblox spot so now how you make a roblox spot is you go to dashboard you go to dashboard low dashboard thank you and then you go to manage you go to admin you go down and under roblox you would say configure also be i would also recommend doing the discord bot as well but yeah anyways also <laughs> i would go join their discord server because they have a new they have a new website for this kind of thing. It's not called Ra uh, It's not called My Center anymore. It's called Row Utilities. Now it's pretty new, so yeah. But I still use My Center because uh, that, this is what I started with. It works well, everything like that. But the only downside is that it goes down a lot. Like it crashes a lot and everything, and like they, it doesn't work a lot. So yeah, that's the only downside, and that's why I use Readmin. So.
Now I'm gonna go to readmin real quick. So basically, yeah, I'm gonna go to readmin. So this is what readmin looks like. I'm gonna ba go back to user dashboard. So once you log in, basically the same login process, you're gonna click create new workspace. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is there's, you're gonna need to find the Roblox group you wanna create a workspace for. Now that, that that's all good and everything. But I've already created a workspace. Now go here. And then here you'll just see this little side dashboard here. Under staff, you can see your staff and everything. Under activity, you can see who's been activity, like under leaderboard and everything. You so these are the people that have been active in the game. Punishment, these are all the different punishments applications now this is i'll get into this later there's premium and there's settings now if you want to make an application center you're just gonna have to go to settings and you're gonna have to go to downloads now application center you're just gonna click download center and basically it's the same thing you just go into roblox studio you go to your files find the application center thing um drag and drop it into roblox studio and it'll automatically do it then that's cool. So activity tracking is basically how long you stay in the game and you can track people's activity in the game. So then basically you do the exact same thing, the download. Um, departments are a little different. You can do the different departments. I'll get into that later. Um, these are, this is the activity tracking thing. Integrations, now this is how you get a Roblox bot. You're just gonna click setup. You can watch this YouTube tutorial here, do what it says, paste it in here, and yeah. Um, and then also, I would, I would suggest doing Discord integration. Now, the Roblox integration is right now down, but probably by the time everyone sees this video, it will be back up. Um, here's the applications. Basically, you click Create New Application, you name it, and everything like that. And then you can click Edit Application in here. Once you have, you can do your stuff like that. You can do this, general requirements, automation, and settings, stuff like that. So basically, uh, but for the automations, you need to have the Roblox bot, so yeah. Um, so yeah, you can make up to four applications right now. Um, yeah, because I've tried clicking this and making more, but it just hasn't worked, so yeah. That's kind of it. And then here, this is the area where you can see your um, activity and stuff. Stuff like that. Yeah. And then, stuff like that. Oh, also another thing is request time off request. Basically, staff and everybody can request time off. So if you have a, a activity requirement or something, you can easily... Uh, and the staff member needs to go for family or something, they can easily just request time off. Now that's basically how you do that. Um, anyways, uh, so, act departments is basically, basically departments are like certain things where you can, where certain people can actually get, like, do certain things on a robot group. Um, so yeah, that's basically what departments are. You'll once you create a department, you'll kind of learn about it. Also, departments are not another Roblox group, so you do not have to pay Roblox Robux, and it won't make a new Roblox group that's named GAA Staff Department or something like that. So yeah, um, overall this is pretty good. The one that I think would be better is, I not only one is better. They're both pretty good, and I both th I think that both are are pretty cool and everything so yeah they <laughs> one not one or the other is better they both work well except for that both of them have their ups and downs now ga <laughs> app, my center application center is okay just that it has a lot of downtime and everything well three admin is fairly new and it doesn't Oh, also another downside to my center applications, it takes forever for you to actually get a Roblox bot. Well, re-admin, it's super quick to get a Roblox bot because you set it up yourself. Um, but yeah. 
So the I would go definitely go check both of them out. Links will be below. Um, yeah. Also, links to their Discord servers will be down below as well. Um, hope everyone did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you enjoy this type of content, subscribe. Um, comment down below what you want to see. Also, join my join our Discord server if you want to. If you if you are still having any questions or anything. Bye.